5,000 households in informal settlements of the region's five major towns will benefit from the drought relief aid under the Perry Urban Program. The now join a list of 15,960 registered households pushing up the demand. The inclusion of peri urban areas, namely the informal settlements that we so much advocated for, has been approved, although we are not happy with the current approved total of beneficiaries of 5,000. We have initially requested for 10,000. I can assure you that we will continue to strive to ensure that more eligible beneficiaries in informal areas are also covered. Bakera advised that the marginalized feeding program at Tsumkwe constituency be merged with the drought relief aid. If we don't streamline it and we don't keep it together, you will see that the same people will benefit from, from the many programs that the government is having for the, for the social means. So it's really very important that we think about merging these programs so that the, 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 when the day that the drought relief for peri urban will be done, it should be the same day that we do the marginalized community and we do it all together. Because in the absence of doing it all together, we will have double beneficiation, which is negatively affecting some people who have never, never benefited anything from the government of the Republic of Namibia. Over 205,000 bags of maize meal and cooking oil were distributed, including 310,000 tinned fish and soya mince packets in the last six months.